The FBI confirms to 11 News, agents conducted a raid at the Safe Streets Bel Air Edison site on Bel Air Road early Thursday morning. They would only say it was court authorized. They're supposed to keep the community safe and keep everybody organized. That's what I understand about them. Safe Streets Bel Air Edison is one of 10 sites in Baltimore with violence prevention workers who go out into communities and try to keep conflicts from turning into dangerous and volatile situations that end in shootings or loss of life. We've learned two other search warrants were also executed. In a statement, LifeBridge Health tells 11 News two of our staff members have indicated that federal agents showed up at their residences. We are treating this incident seriously and complying with requests from authorities. It just blows my mind. The word safe streets and you get raided doesn't make any sense to me. What's the use in having a program? If y'all are going to be doing the same things the people in the streets is doing, but y'all should always be trying to help us. Concerning the raid at the Bel Air Edison location, the Mayor's Office of Neighborhood Safety and Engagement sent us this statement. Monzi is aware of the situation involving FBI law enforcement activity. We are in close communication with LifeBridge Health's Center for Hope. Mayor Brandon Scott, Monzi, and our partners at LifeBridge Health have repeatedly made clear that any staff found guilty of wrongdoing or who do not live up to the values of our programs will be held accountable accordingly. I'm shocked, dismayed, appalled, furious, and just downright sad. Just, I'm just sad about the whole situation. Safe Streets Violence Reduction Coordinators also work with neighborhood groups. The president of the Bel Air Edison Community Association reacts to the raid. It hurts, it, it really does. Um, you know, we look to them to protect us, keep us safe, and now we have this investigation going on, so I don't like anything that's gonna make my community look bad. I, I, I really don't. Now, the FBI tells us it did conduct other raids, but it will not confirm if those raids are in any way related to the one that happened here. Reporting live from East Baltimore, Barry Sims, WBAL-TV, 11 News.